Hey everyone, this is uh, Tech Tips 92 and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your computer with a static IP address. Um, this is beneficial for a lot of different reasons. Um, one, for example, being your computer doesn't have to waste time uh, getting an IP from a router. Um, some people have said that it has security benefits as well as speed benefits, uh, as well as connection stability um, benefits. But um, getting right to it, uh, if you're running Windows 7 like I am here, and uh, this first part of the uh, of what we're going to be doing applies to just about any version of Windows, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to All Programs here in your Start Menu, Accessories, and up here in the Command Prompt, uh, you'll go there. Now, if you're not the administrator of your computer, you're going to want to run it as administrator. Um, and you'll do that by right-clicking uh, here and running it as administrator. But because I'm running as administrator right now, um, I won't need to do that. So anyway, um, the first thing you're going to need to do is find out some information about your router. So in the command prompt box, you're going to be typing ipconfig slash all. Now, this is going to display some information about your uh, connection and uh, your router and the, and the network card that you're using on the computer right now or any or any computer uh, really so what you're essentially looking at here and what you're looking for is this information right here um, you can see here that uh, I already have a preferred address because I've saved it as or I've had a static IP uh, configuration before um, for the purpose of the studio, I changed it back to a dynamic IP address uh, so that I can show you how to change it to a static IP. Um, so what you're looking at here is your current IP address and likely it'll be here under the IPv4 address. Um, your subnet mask as well as the address of your default gateway which uh, is your router and also uh, more than likely your DHCP and DNS server will also be your router or your default gateway as well and they'll have the same address um, so what you want to do next is you're going to go over to control panel and uh, again this is where it may differ for if you're not using Windows 7 um, but essentially you want to get to the networking sharing center now I believe if you're using Windows XP or uh, uh, something before uh, Windows 7 uh, you can actually in the connections tab at the bottom area of your screen you can actually right click and you can go to this access this network information from there um, but for Windows 7 you're going to want to click here now I'm using wireless but if you're using wired it would show wired network connection as opposed to wireless sorry about that that was my phone um, then under properties here it'll open the network connection properties and uh, like I said before it'll probably be IP, it'll most likely be IPv4 um, most people don't have their IPv6 set up, so you're going to want to go to properties of that, and you'll see right here that uh, obtain an IP address on that automatically is ticked, and uh, that is by default. Uh, however, once you hit use the following IP address, you can manually enter your own information here. Now, um, you're going to look at your router, and you're going to notice that the default gateway is 192.168.0.1. Um, it may be zero zero depending on the uh, the manufacturer of your router, um, but for this video it's zero one or for my router. So one nine two one six eight zero. Now you'll notice here that this is two five five two five five two five five, and that's my subnet mask. But what that essentially means is that the only part of the address that I can actually change is the octet here, in which it's a zero. So that means that only this last bit here I can actually change and it goes from a range of 1 to 2 uh, to 254 because we can't use either 0 or 255 um, so I'm gonna pick a number let's say 155 so in the mask it, are, it enters automatically for you if yours is something other than 255 255 2550 you can enter it in manually again we saw that our default gateway is 0 1 and we already know that because of that our DNS server whoops is as well zero one. Um, you can validate these if you want. Um, it really doesn't matter, it's up to you. You hit OK. 
and hit close, and hit close. And you'll see if we open it up again, and we go to properties, IPv4 properties, you see the information that we have there. Now, um, depending on your router and depending on how many devices you have in your home, uh, you may actually want to reserve uh, this IP address on your router, meaning that only the device that uh, you registered to have that IP address will be able to use that IP address. Um, the number that I chose was 155, which is the 155th IP address that my router would give out. Uh, now, because I don't have 155 devices in my home that use um, an IP address, I won't ever have to worry about reaching 155. However, if something does reach 155, uh, we'll have an IP address conflict and that device will no longer be able to connect to the internet, uh, either of those devices. So what you may want to do is reserve that IP address. Um, and I will show you how to reserve an IP address and uh, how, as well in another video how to do port forwarding and other things related, related to your router. Um, but we'll save that for another video. So if you are interested in, in uh, reserving an address on your router, then please look out for that video and I'll have it up for you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all again next time.